Hello everybody, today I want to talk about how to apply and what are the requirements for a study visa for minors. Okay, so everybody under 18 who doesn't want to go to university. That's what we're talking about in this video. There is another video for people who want to go to university, so for majors, so we will separate these two videos. But now, what are the requirements for a study visa? Okay, so for the minors, I think it's a lot of parents always ask me, so my, my, my child will go to kindergarten, do I need a study visa? So the important part is that in general, you don't need a study visa when you go to kindergarten. You only need a study visa when you attend a school, a registered school. Yeah, so, so that's usually from grade one onwards, not grade R, which is a preschool grade, really. So kindergarten, not. Uh, there are some exceptions. The French school, for instance, in, uh, in Cape Town, they insist on a study visa even for kindergarten. But the general rule is you need to you know, have a study visa when you go to grade one. That's number one. Then usually the parents are in the country as well. So we, we would attach the study visa application to the father or the mother having the long-term temporary residence visa. And the duration then of the study visa is either the maximum duration of the main applicant. So if the father's on an ICT or the mother, then it would be four years or potentially even longer uh, and then limited only by the passport duration or the duration of the course. Okay. Now, medical aid, important for minors, they don't have to have a local medical aid. They can be included on the international medical aid of the breadwinner. Okay, so that's the big difference to the majors. But uh, for minors, it's definitely accepted that they are sitting on the medical aid of the parents or of the parent. Okay, what if the parents are not coming or the parents will fly in and out with 90 day visitor visas because both of them work overseas and they only want to make Cape Town or South Africa their home. Can you send your child to school and get a study visa without having an accompanying parent or rather without having a major pa parent being, being the, the main visa holder? So the answer to that is yes. So that's the good news. Okay, so Home Affairs accepts a well, guardian solution. It's not a legal guardian in terms of family law, it's just for immigration purposes. But you would need, as a parent, you would need a South African citizen or a permanent residence holder who signs a couple of documents, so supports you know, the application and, and, and is, is, is the guardian basically from a, from a home affairs perspective for the minor applying for the study visa. Okay, so that is a solution. Yeah. You submit obviously the application like most study visas overseas, at least the first ones. Extensions can be done here. Um, yeah, and I think, I think uh, that's the main points for minors. Important, even minors can work obviously on a study visa up to 20 hours a day. Uh, uh, 20 hours a day, yeah. Uh, 20 hours a, a week. Um, so, you know, if they're legally allowed to, to work from 16 upwards, etc. So, yeah. Um, Duration, processing times depend on the mission where you submit and um, the documents required are, as I said, the medical aid and then especially, and that's important, the school acceptance letter. Um, that sometimes takes a little bit of time, but most schools obviously know exactly um, what the school acceptance letter needs to look like. And also we always submit uh, proof that the school is registered with the uh, department um, so that it's an official school. Um, I think that's really important. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. I hope you found that useful. Like it, share it, and maybe watch the one for the majors as well. Bye.